Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I will explain about Simpsons Create Room. And this is the second last subtopic of chapter 5. So previously, you have learned the Simpsons Wanted Rule. And we know that Simpsons Wanted Rule will be used to uh, calculate the integration, the numerical integration of the function from the interval A to B. And for Simpson wanted rule, uh, to use that formula, your n interval must be even. And suppose in Simpson wanted rule, we are approximating the integral of fx by finding the integral of the second order polynomial. So in order for you to uh, to have the second order polynomial, we must have the three data points. So basically, this is the general idea of the one, the Simpson's one third rule. For Simpson's three eight rule, we are now estimating the integral of f x by finding the integral of the third order polynomial. So instead of finding the integral of the second order polynomial in Simpson's one third rule, for this 3 8 rule, we are now finding the integral of the third order polynomial. So in order for you to get the, four, the third order polynomial, you must have four data points in your computation. And for this 3-8 rule, your n value must be equal to 3. The formula to approximate the integral of fx for this Simpson 3-8 rule is given by 3h over 8 times with f of x0 plus 3f of x1 plus 3 f of x2 plus f of x3. As you can see, the expression inside the bracket, we have four terms because now we have four data points. So that's why we have x0, x1, x2 and also x3. And this formula is very easy to memorize. The coefficient of the first term is 1, the coefficient of the second and the third term are 3, and the coefficient of the last term always 1. This h here is the length or the width of each interval. And we know that in this Simpson 3a rule, you must have 4 data points. So in your graph, you will have x0, x1, x2, and x3. And this is the first interval, the second interval, and the third interval. So h, h value is the length between x0 and x1, and also the length between x2 and x1, and also the length between x3 and x1. So to calculate the h value, the formula is b minus a over 3. Since n, our n now is equal to 3. Okay, that's it for Simpson 3a rule. You just apply this formula and make sure to use this formula, your n must be equal to 3. The number of interval must be 3. Let's try one example. Suppose that a dome has circular cross section without line y equals to plus minus square root of 45 over 2 90 minus x for x values from 0 to 90. Each cross section is a circle with this radius. So the cross sectional area are given by the formula of ax. Estimate the volume of the dome by using Simpson's rule for a step size of 30 feet. Okay, so for this question you need to find the volume, the volume of a circle. 
and given in the questions is the area the information about area and also the information about the radius so this is the radius so how to find the volume of a circle so to find the volume of a circle the formula is just the integration of the function of area to calculate the volume you just integrate area with respect to x since in our case now the interval uh, the, the variable is x so you just integrate the function pi square root of 45 over 2 90 minus x square dx get to calculate this integral you need to use simpson's rule so for simpson rule we have two uh, rules the one third rule and also the three eighth rule so which formula to use for this question and given also the step size of 30 feet so step size is h value h equals to 30 and we know that the formula for h is b minus a over n so h is 30 b is the upper upper limit of the integral a is the lower limit of the integral so for this case our lower limit is 0 because x value starting from 0 until 90 so 90 is the b value the upper limit 0 is the a value the lower limit so 90 minus 0 over n and after that you just solve this linear equation and you will get n equals to 3 okay, since our n now is equals to 3 so we must use simpson 1 simpson 3 8 rule okay because for simpson 1 third rule the n value must be an even number so since our n now is equal to 3 so we must use uh, the simpson's 3 8 rule okay the next step is to write down the formula for simpson 3 8 rule so the formula of simpson 3 8 rule is given by h 3 h over 8 f of x naught plus 3 f of x1 plus 3 f of x2 plus 3 not 3 plus f of x3 because we only have four data points x0 x1 x2 and x3 with n interval with three interval and this capital i indicate the integral so for this case we are now finding this integral okay uh, next is to identify what is the x0 value x1 value x2 value and x3 values so x0 is just the lower limit of this integration so x0 is 0 and x3 the last point is the upper limit of the integration so 90 so what are the values of x1 and x2 and we know that the step size is 30 so meaning that our x is increased by 30 so x1 is 0 plus with 30 so 30 and x2 is 30 plus with 30 so 60 and our x3 is 60 plus 30 so it is 90 Okay, next step, before you use the integration formula, you must find the fx values for each x. And normally, we will use a table to summarize our result. So, x starts from 0, and then 30, 60, 90. Okay, so first you need to find the value of fx when x equals to 0. So our function of fx now is this x 
expression here. Okay, when x equals to 0, so fx, so you need to find the f0, find square root of 45 over 2, 90 minus 0 square. And you just use your calculator, just calculate this value. Actually, you can cancel this square with this square root. So you just calculate 5, 45 over 2 times with 90. And the answer is 145. So the answer is 20255. So F0 value is 20255. So you just repeat the calculation and you will get this fx value. Alright, next step, uh, you just calculate and uh, you just substitute all the values into our integral formula. So 3h, our h, so what is our h? h is 30. So 3 times with 30 over 8 multiply with f of x naught, so f of 0, 2, 0, 2, 5, 5, plus 3 times f of x1, so 1, 3, 5, 0, 5, plus 3, f of x2, so 6, 7, 5, 5, plus with f of x3, so plus with 0. So this is 90 over 8. And this is eight one zero zero five. After that, just multiply these two values. So the final answer is nine one one two five five. Or you can substitute the pi value. So the final answer is two eight. Two seven seven point six three zero six, and the unit is feet cubed because this is the value for volume. So this is the volume of the dome by using Simpson's three eight rule.